If you are looking for getting more ultimate team coins, instead of buying them with real money, go to the auction market and trade. It's more rewarding, cheaper and pretty easy to do as well. Hey guys, Slamfan92 here again today with another squad builder featuring some of the team of the season players from the most consistent team of the season. So once again 3-5-2 formation and in goal we once again as in the last video have Moraj the team of the season version. Just wanted to give him some more games. Then at the central center back we do have the team of the season Rever. Very good stats on him in my opinion, 68 pace, 86 in defending and 84 heading, very solid all across the board and also 6 foot 4 tall which is pretty nice and also very cheap. Then as a left center back is Nastasic, the team of the season version, 71 in pace, 83 defending, 82 heading, so a little bit faster than the river but not that good defending stats there, 6 foot 2 tall and left footed. On the right hand side we do have Dede, one of the most overpowered center backs on this game with 81 pace, 81 defending and 82 heading. Ridiculously good player, 6 foot 4 tall as well. Moving on to the right midfielder, it is going to be Kelvin, the Brazilian silver player with the 5 star skills on there. 84 pace, 84 dribbling as well. Pretty good card in its own. Then as we move on to the left midfielder of the team. We actually do have the inform David Silva. Always wanted to try him out. And he looks pretty good from his card. The 89 overall rated uh, 4 star skills. But only 2 star we could will get later on into that as well. Then the 2 CDMs. First of all always wanted to try him as well. Is Ramirez. High high work rates. Ridiculously good stats. Especially concerning pace of course. And a very good player on this game. And used quite often in squads. And then next to him as the second CDM we do have Felipe Melo. Very good stats all across the board once again and with a high defensive work rate. Very good player there. Also pretty cheap there at 500 coins. Now the center attacking midfielder is the team of the season Inan. 74 in pace, 87 shooting, 89 in passing and an 80 dribbling. Very solid stats there on him. 6 foot tall, 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot and once again very cheap. And then up front the two strikers. First of all the inform Yilmaz. Very very solid stats all around on him. 4 stats. In the 82 and then 180 stat on the passing there as well. 6 foot 2 tall and 3 star skill, 3 star weak foot. And then next to him the final player is Colin Kazim Richards with 84 pace, 70 shooting. So very good shooting there for a silver player and then with the 4 star skills. And he's also 6 foot 1 tall as well. So let's move on to the gameplay with this team. And as you can now already see, I don't show you a Gold Cup walkthrough in this episode simply because I didn't win the Gold Cup with this team. So actually uh, for in quite a while actually now lost a game again on Ultimate Team which was a little bit weird but that of course had to happen at some point. And with this team I will quickly explain why it happened with this team especially. And uh, first of all the players all in themselves are very good. Um, I think the worst player I found on this team was either uh, Kelvin or the inform David Silva. First of all, Kelvin, uh, I'm now actually used to players with very good passing and Kelvin is very weak at passing. So I might have actually uh, just picked uh, the second inform Lucas, for example, uh, to get the good chemistry there with the Brazilian link. And he's much better at passing than Kelvin. And Kelvin's passing is just horrible there, even though he's got the five star skill moves. But that doesn't really uh, yeah, cover up for his lack of passing and also some other positioning ability stuff like that. And then the inform David Silva actually really disappointed me. He's got very good dribbling and he has got good passing, but the two star weak foot just absolutely kills him. He's so predictable on this game. If he only has the left foot, his right foot is absolutely atrocious, in my opinion at least. And he's definitely not a good player on this game, in my opinion. Moving on to the whole squad overall, uh, Ramirez is a good player in his own right, but with a high, high work rates, and especially next to Silva, who has got high, low work rates, he's just all over the place, gets tired way too quickly, and definitely not a player I enjoy too much uh, on FIFA, even though his pace is just absolutely ridiculous, it's at 88 there. But I'd rather have a slower player like Felipe Melo, or he's actually not too slow, but you know what I mean. Uh, even I'd like slower players like Pirlo or Xavi Alonso in there. Uh, who have got much better pos uh, positioning and better passing stuff like that and also better dribbling. So uh, Ramirez is definitely not a player I enjoyed too much in this team. Overall, more quickly talking about the uh, team of the season players, Inan actually is really, really good. Uh, his, sh his shooting is pretty great. His passing is good as well. His dribbling is sometimes not as good as I would have hoped it to be. Uh, but 3-star skill, 3-star weak foot, a bit of a letdown. As a center attacking midfielder, I'd like him, of course, to have at least four stars in one category, like with, for example, Mikel Arteta with a four-star weak foot. Um, but still, Inan, very solid player. And then the 
um, I think the two most fun players on this team were the two strikers. First of all, the inform Brock Yilmaz, who is just crazily good on this game. His finishing is absolutely amazing, and his, pa uh, his pace is even better than 82 as it shows on his card. Also, his dribbling is pretty accurate as well, and his heading is decent too. If you want to cross in the ball, which I don't usually tend to do, but from time to time it happened, and then he was very good inside the box. And then also Colin Kazim Richards, very good pace on him. As I said earlier, good shooting for a silver player and the four-star skills to add some flair into the team. And um, then the other two uh, team of the season players I had newly in this team was actually, first of all, team of the season, Rivera, who is very, very solid. His pace doesn't matter too much. Uh, he is Fast enough, let's just say that. And then his defending is absolutely rock solid, in my opinion. And then Nastasic next to him. Uh, a little bit pace here, but not the best at defending, to be honest. So probably my least favorite of the team of the season players I have tried out so far. Anyways, guys, this episode is coming to a close now. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though, uh, yeah, for a change, I didn't win the Gold Cup. I actually just showed you some goals I scored with this team in the background. Hope you still enjoyed it. Anyways, let me know down in the comment section below which next team of the season you'd actually think that will come out today. As I record this commentary, it will be tomorrow. But as you watch this video, it will probably be today on the Wednesday. So anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like rating on it if you did so. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching and for listening through the whole commentary, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Then the center attacking midfielder is, of course, going to be the team of the season, Mikel Arteta. Amazing stats on him, especially his in-game stats. You can check them out on any sort of FIFA-related data.